Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to thank Alan and Terry and everyone at the gallery for this opportunity to talk about my work a little bit. I uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, I'll start right in with uh, question one. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Michael Patterson and I'm a painter and a sculptor um, mainly and I, I play music and, and uh, I just love the arts. Uh, why do you do what you do? Uh, ever since a kid, my grandfather was a painter, and ever since I've been a kid, uh, I've, I've painted, and I've, I've enjoyed that, uh, that experience, and, and just sort of reflecting the beauty of life around uh, how do I work. I generally work in series. Um, I've pursued the same... Uh, several different bodies of work. My dappled light paintings, uh, which is a whole arena of work, which I really, really like. My rain paintings, paintings of people walking in the street in the rain. Uh, my beach series, uh, you know, the beach where people are sitting on the ground and relaxed and uh, under the sun, to me, is just, uh, you know, a worthy pursuit. Um, what's my background? Um, like I said, my grandfather was a, a great American pa painter, Howard Ashman Patterson. Um, and so I had his paintings in my life, all my life, and paints and brushes. And, and so that's the beginning. And then, of course, I did go to art school. And I, you know, I always did well in art. Didn't do great in all the other subjects in grade school, but I was always able to paint. And so I just pursued that somewhat naturally and um, graduated with honors uh, from SUNY Purchase. Um, <clears throat> what's integral to the work of an artist? Keep working. Just work. Just go. Go at it, I think. And the role of an artist in society, uh, well, I guess we're kind of like the canary in the coal mine. We're here to remind people of what matters, I think. And I'm not really one ringing a bell of uh, 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 trauma coming our way. Or, uh, I'm much, I feel like my job is sort of reminding others to just look at the beauty of things and, and keep, keep looking. You know, to me, that's kind of, I feel that's kind of my job. Uh, how has your practice changed over time? Uh, I used to paint outside every single day. I would go with my, when I painted with oils outside, I'd take my big canvas and all my stuff and go climb on a hillside and paint or wherever I was with, uh, you know, wherever I was. And then that moved to watercolors, which was like an easier way to paint outside. I'd, I lived in cities, lived in Paris for many years, lived up in Vermont and California, you know, lots of places and always had my watercolors with me. Hence, uh, lots and lots of sketches and watercolors and paintings of all the different places I've been. And that has become kind of the source. Now I paint in my studio, but I paint from all that information that I gathered uh, through those years. And I very much enjoy being here at my home in my studio and my, my kitty cat and my wonderful Jessica. Um, it's just a different way. I really used to be outside all the time. And now I really enjoy listening to podcasts or the, my music or silence or, and just being here and um, uh, working from here. I, I do enjoy that. What work do you most enjoy doing? Um, well, back on the outdoor thing, I, I have done this series of paintings recently with uh, my skiing buddies. We go to Europe, we went to Europe seven years in a row and I bring my watercolors on my backpack and ski in the mountains and you get to these places, these vistas that are just astoundingly beautiful. And I paint watercolors on location and it's just a thrill. Um, I really enjoy that. That is great, great fun. Of course, painting watercolors at the beach is really fun. Painting in the rain. I love to paint in the rain with my watercolors. That's really great fun. But then again, that all comes back here and I try to work those into bigger canvases and uh, you know, more substantial work. 
what work do you enjoy doing? What themes do you pursue? Well, I mentioned that a bit. Um, I, I, I paint the series of dappled light. I find that, you know, to be in a park with lots of people walking in the streets under the trees where that light is dappling down through the trees, I love that light. I think that is just a dance of beauty with uh, people coming and going with the different colors they have on and then the light and the shadows uh, sort of just dancing around. I find that absolutely th thrilling. Just even without painting, just to go and be there and watch that, it's just fantastic. Um, theme, so, so, that, so that would be one theme. Another, rain. I love rainy days. People are with their umbrellas and sort of hunkered down and on their way wherever they're going. I love that, the reflected light everywhere. Uh, another theme was the beach series. I love the idea of people at the beach, uh, sitting on the ground, um, under the sky, you know, it's, um, and listening to the sound of the sea, you know, that's gorgeous. And so uh, that's another that I very much enjoy. Um, What's your favorite artwork? Well, my grandfather was a painter, as I mentioned several times, and really, he's really one of my favorite painters, but um, I love all artwork, I feel like. Ever since the, the cave paintings, to Caravaggio, to Paul Clay, to Brock and Picasso, it, you know, all of the, all the people that have been behind us who have, you know, sort of built this history of, uh, of beauty that we all have. It's just amazing, and I love them for that uh, work. You know, um, describe a life situation that inspired you. Well, I thought about this question, and I'd have to say one that was kind of a personal one, but uh, I was walking uh, up years ago. This is 10 years ago or so, uh, up my driveway here, and I was going through kind of a difficult time, kind of a time like I felt like I'd uh, messed up my relationship with God, and I just felt kind of out of it for a while, for several months. And my Zach, my cat, who I just cherish, was up the way, and I felt the Spirit say to my heart, uh, that's the way I love you, Mike. And honestly, I that cracked me open like a walnut. I just just uh, that changed my life you know ever since then I just still remember that uh, and and you know once I felt that I mean I feel I could write a symphony just uh, believing that there's Zach now <laughs> uh, truly my treasurer um, so that that that, that inspired me um, so many things. I mean, I remember sitting doing a watercolor in Barcelona, Spain one time, and this little child, little girl came and sat down next to me. Mom was nearby, and um, I was saying to her, you know, yo estoy aprendiendo español. I'm learning Spanish. And she was like saying little things, and then at one point she goes, no dice como esto, dice como eso. And it's like this little five-year-old was teaching me how to say it properly. Um, that inspired the heck out of me. But, you know, I mean, life is just utterly inspiring. Um, what is the outlook of an artist? Um, keep looking. So I want to ask, answer one more of these great questions. One being, um, what is a good bit of advice that you've been given? And uh, knowing lots of great people, I've been given lots of good advice, but I guess I would say out of scripture, the, the passage that says to love God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind and all your strength, that's compelling me to live wholeheartedly and um, do everything I do with, uh, with the highest intention. And not to say I always do that, because I, I don't know, I don't. But um, that's sort of a high calling. There's dappled light. That's the kind of thing. Anyway, that's the way I'd answer that last one. Uh, all the best. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Take care.